Hello guys, and let's review some tips of zirconia crown preparations, okay? So let's imagine that we have those lower anterior teeth to prepare, okay? So patient had bruxism, for example, and now we have a mocap. So you guys are seeing the mocap milling on a Zirconzan M1 milling device, okay, with PMMA. And now you guys are seeing that we are turning to see the amount of reduction that we are doing in comparison with the temporary prosthesis, okay? So you can always check that if you have your temporary prosthesis. Again, that's just a mocap, okay, with a flexible PMMA. But all right, so we need now to finish our preparations, okay, which we already started for the lower anterior teeth. And then we need to follow some tips. We need smooth surface reduction. We need clear margin lines. We need always to make sure that we don't have undercuts. And then we need to look from the top, but for each preparation, and then we want rounded angles, of course. Okay, so those are very nice tips. Let's see a little bit about those tips now. So we want margin integrity. And then, of course, you want to have your high-speed handpiece very stable. Okay, you can always consider to prepare in thirds. So we need actually to do the contour of the buccal surface uh, in a, following, of course, the shape that we want for the preparation. Okay, for all the uh, thirds. So now you guys are seeing that we have stability of the burr, always checking the axis of the burr in relation to the axis of the tooth, okay? And as we proceed with the reduction of the buccal surface, we are always checking the axis, okay? As we move, so we are going from distal to mesial aspects of the buccal surface, okay? And this is done in a 3D printed uh, cast for training, okay? Uh, we re really like, recommend you guys to, to do that for training. Okay, now for interproximal reduction, we should use, of course, a thinner burr, okay? And then always repeated movements, those you know, leaning movements, those light movements, okay? With a little bit of pressure only, and then always respect the adjacent tooth, all right? That's why you want to use a thinner burr and then don't forget the shape of the cervical surface at that at that point, at the interproximal point, okay? There is a concavity, and you want to respect those margins as well. And then eventually you are going to cross to the palatal side, but always contouring the tooth. If you didn't contour properly, then you are going to uh, be able to uh, redo these parts. So of course, to improve this contour, okay? Then you can use some of those finishing discs or polishing discs to make sure that you have rounded angles, okay? And then you'll try in again your temporary mocap, all right? So this again was done with CADCAM. You can always reline the mocap after the preparations and if it's too tight to remove from the, from the cast, then you can use a, a, a hemostatic tweezer. So then you remove the temporary prosthesis and we need to make sure we need to polish between the margin uh, of the different crowns okay just make sure that the interproximal soft tissues are not too much compressed okay so that's just a tip but of course without affecting the margins 